Well, essentially, um, as a realtor friend of mine was like, oh, I got a showing Friday night. I'm like, man, how do you, you know, what do you put on a house on a Friday night to really dress them up? What would you, what would you wear if you were a house on a Friday night? Pajamas. <laughs> nice coat of paint. Comfies. Probably it's a dress. <laughs> but don't if you didn't, didn't like that one, <laughs> yeah, it was great. It's not. Uh, why, do, why don't cows have feet? Why? Because they lactose. <laughs> um, hey, no, I got one. No, dude, my neighbor with big boobs has been doing a lot of gardening lately. I just wish he'd put a shirt on. <laughs> uh, found out I have a father in law. My old priest became a lawyer. Oh, to God. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shelly bought me a broken dictionary. I realized it when I couldn't find the words to thank her. Oh, good one. <laughs> okay. This guy. Doc, you got one. <clears throat> Man, inflation's getting uh. so crazy. 69 is now 96. <laughs> Shout out, uh, Jared Allen, Brian Robinson. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome to the second office. I'm your host, Alex George, Doc and Sody. My dad, for the first time. My dad, the Packers fan. Dad, Huge welcome on. Huge. Hello, everyone. Uh, Big fan. Vikes, of are, uh, Vikes are two minutes and ten seconds away from going 4 0. 31 22 over the pack. This is two Vikes fans versus two Packers fans. Before we get into that, wait, dad, wait, wait. Can I interject? Yes. I'd like to remove versus and you try that again. This is two Vikings fans in studio with two, two Packers, Packers fans. fans. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Dad picked out his six albums. That was Four Went uh, by Sody. Sody, please um, talk about the albums behind me. So here's what happened. This is new. This is second week of Album Wall, which I love. I'm a huge fan of this. But I came down here and did not see Album Wall. Georgie's a gracious host. He's hosting a bunch of people here having a great time. And so I wanted to make sure I came down and did everything in my power to make sure your studio was ready to rock when he wanted to come down and record. I saw no albums on the wall. So, I, I hadn't put them up. You are correct. They were right here. Yep. Luckily, my gal was kind enough to be like, oh, I'll, I'll look through and, and grab a couple. So, she grabbed, I think, three, and then some football action started happening. She's a big fan. So, she went to the beanbag, because mm-hmm. that's a nice beanbag. Mm-hmm. And so, I went, oh, there's only three here, and I grabbed three more. So, we've got a combination of both. I won't tell you who picked what, I but... Do, I do love your choices. I Wait. Somebody rearranged them. Oh, sorry. I didn't know they were in order. They fell in. No, that's fine. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll go. They're great. That It mixes them up even more. I love it. Well, what do you have to say? What, what's special to you? I don't know. Conway Twitty, Loretta Lynn, I think is a great pick. Sure is. Found that one for like five bucks. I mean, you can't get any better than Kanye West when you're talking graduation. Okay. We got Frank Zappa. Sure. Outcast. And then I believe that's Casey Musgrave's debut album. Uh, second. It's second. follow up. Mm-hmm. But probably her strongest. Uh, maybe my favorite. Yeah. Perhaps my favorite. Memorable for me. Ooh, it, it's great. I think it's, for me, it's what album made you fall in love with the artist. That one. Yeah. Like, I remember I asked my dad a great question one time. I said, me and my buddies, we listen to some terrible hip hop music when we drive around and go like, or yeah, not drive around, but sit in a barn and go party. Yep. And I asked my dad, if you can remember one artist prolifically everywhere at every party you had and without hesitation, you just went Sabbath. That's great. Sabbath. Yep. Yeah. He goes, if I was at a party, Sabbath was just going. Can't argue Sabbath. Mark, do you have any to add to that? Uh, in, my, in that time, Kiss. Nice. <laughs> yep, Sweet. Exactly. Let's go. Yep. Gene Simmons. Time. Got everyone in the mood. Yep. Uh, what got me into Casey is uh, opening song on this record, uh, High Times. Oh, yeah. It's so good. We listen to that one a lot. Super good. Doc, awesome. when are you going to decorate this album all? Got next week? I don't know if you guys are ready for that. No. Real? I, I am. What do you mean? I want to learn Super more ready. about you. There's your choices. Why do you think I or constantly bring it, or make bring them sure in for the yourself. structure yeah, of I this seating right? ends up with know. you yeah. and me next to each other? Exactly. I like you, man. Uh, I wish I could say the same. Oh. I, I, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I, I, I yeah, get it. I get it. <laughs> I'm what they call in France tough to love. <laughs> How do they say that? How do they say that in French? Oh, no. Laissez compétent. That's okay. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Szechuan. Szechuan? Oh, my God. Oui. <laughs> okay. Okay, good job. J'adore la fromage. Right? Okay. Um, we, we, we talked a bit about predictions last week. I had, I had said this was going to come down to a coaching battle. In a way, it has. It got a lot closer than I was comfortable with. Yeah. Um, 
but maybe the Vikes were coasting. I said 21-20 Vi- or Packers. I was going to say this will be the Vikes' uh, first loss. But uh, no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Oh, here we go. Oh, interception. Nope, they got it. Okay, Packers got it. Minute 25 left, 31-22. So they're going. Uh, Sodi, initial, initial thoughts on uh, the verge of 4-0. Going into this game, it was the same as coming out every week. STD, man. Secure the dub. You got to go in there, whether it be Lambo, whether this be at home, you got to get in there and STD, man. Secure the dub. That um, might not be your best acronym. I, yeah. <laughs> but, what do you mean? I does it, it. Does it, but, it, but it works, right? Daddy, you shaking the camera? We gotta, we're shaking cords over here. Yep. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, it's good. We just it's got a live camera. Crowd. Yeah. Oh, Packer scored. Put me in the middle of technology. Oh, geez. Wait a minute. It's going to be trouble. We What's got, the update? Don't save me. touchdown, tw- uh, 31-28. So they'll uh, kick oh. the extra point here is to my guess, two. and then try the... Uh, and Did then that the, just shut off? Uh, yep, I think we're on... Oh, Dad, it's because you're leaning on it. Because <laughs> you're leaning on it. Oh, geez. I was plugging fine. it again. We're good. No. So it's, <laughs> might, might have to fire up the... Might we're, just have to press record again. Here we go. Just press record. Filler, come on. How many How many seconds are left? left? Uh, 50. So they'll kick the onside, and it'll come down to that. Oh, I don't man. know about timeouts. We're good. Back no, up. it was that one. All I know is um, this is a lot better than I thought it would be. I mean, I said 42 nothing. You said so. 42 nothing. I know. So I'm happy. Uh, and it looked like it might go that way for a minute yeah. as it was sitting on 28. And I'm so sorry to have to backtrack right now as Sody gets this uh, camera fired up. Uh, but we, we uh, partook on another adventure of Burger Quest. But we did so in my backyard. And we did some grilling to kind of establish a base, as it were, as we go on this adventure of, uh, of trying Minnesota's best offerings when it comes to burgers. You got to start with a solid Sunday grilled burger. Did you say Minnesota's best onion rings? No. The, so is that like, what would you give that burger you ate today? Then? My burger? I, if you claim that as your burger. Six. But it was great. I okay. love a six. Well, That's a solid six. Because I, I, but I went, I, went, I went bare minimum. Onions, ketchup, mustard. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Yeah. So I give mine a six. So do you win a little nuts. You well, win no bun, first of all. Well, yeah. Okay. Double decker. Yeah. So... A bun is a vessel to carry flavor, but I feel like, to me, you know me, anytime somebody hands me something, I'm Carbs like, are the enemy. No. I look at what can I add to this t- to make it my own. <laughs> somebody hands me a burger. I'm like, let, let's combine this with something else. And so, yeah, I put the uh, cheese sausage, you know, dip sauce for the chips on the burger with some onions. Is that all it was? Because Shelly made that. That was awesome. Yeah, it was a really good cheese sauce. super good. And so that's why I just did onions, cheese sauce, and had some pickles close by in case one bite needed a little bit of sweet. Mm. And it was phenomenal. Well played. So I will... Yeah, I mean... Well, out of 10 then. Out of 10. I mean, for me, it was... I made a really good burger on my plate. That was a 7.6. Nice. Yeah. Doc. I mean, for me, you said this was all about establishing a baseline. Sure. That's a 5. Okay. Right in the middle. Okay, good. Everything else will be judged against that. But Doc, I, good. Can okay. I speak for Doc for a second? Well, I Doc. feel like if if I'm in Doc's head, Doc's standing at a table right now, and there are ten burgers in front of him. One of them is from Matt's Bar. One of them is from Five Eight Grill. One of them is from In and Out. And one of those is what we had today, and yeah. that's where he's basing it. Am I wrong? I mean, I'm just saying it's a five. If this is going to be your five. But no, I don't well, think you, I don't think you that gave sense. Matt's Matt's bar a juicy Lucy. Mark, have you had one? A frozen patty can never be t- higher than five for me. Yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. That's a fair rule. That's a good point. We can put yeah. You can doll like what did I have to do today? I had to doll it up. Yeah, I, mean, I had to get creative. Yeah, tasted good. Yep, it was so, it so, was great. So to that to that point, they're you're not they're, mad. They're at them. Costco Chuck patties. Yeah, yeah, which I like very much. It's a very easy dinner, right? So, Dad, solve five. Mm-hmm. Five. Great. Right. What's a what, well? What's a? Do you have a favorite burger? I know we go burgers all the time. Is oh, there a have. place you know you can drive by and go old? Oh, great burger. I well, showed I, him Red Cow not too long ago. I've been at the Blue Door twice and loved it. Yep, Blue Door. Yep, you should go there. Have you had the tachos at Blue Door ever? No, the tater tot nachos. Onside kick. Bike's got it. Okay, you're done. Cool it with the button today. I agree. That's twice. Okay. Again, I was wearing a jersey. I took mine off in solidarity for my friends that want to talk about everything, including sports. But I believe our tagline is life, sports, and whatever, right? Yeah. Right. Is your whole life just sports, 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 nothing but sports? No, his is. Are you? Vikings horn, Vikings horn, Vikings horn, 
a woo Vikings horn. That's so average, Ow. George. <laughs> you realize what it means to be average? The lousiest of the best. So. And the best of the lousiest. <laughs> okay, it's great. And if we demand more and more... Stop doing another show on our show. Yeah. You always do that. You always do their show I on our show. I did it a year ago. <laughs> you, 52 episodes you, ago, you I did it. You still fit it in. I was waiting. Which is what she said. Um, <laughs> Wait. Best thing I saw at Renfest. A t-shirt that said, uh, that was what the lady hath saith, or something like that. <laughs> Is that what you sent me in a text? I tried to. Yeah, okay. Like, looking back. <laughs> oh, that was the... Yeah, yeah. Look, looking I had no back, idea. There was a couple t-shirt ideas I sent. <laughs> but looking back, I, I looked look at it like, oh, that okay. didn't translate. I was yelling at my phone. What was that? Here. Okay. It was like, second office this? t-shirt second, idea, and it was supposed to be... Second office that t-shirt was idea. what quote, the lady hath said. That is what the lady has Seth. <laughs> that was close. So maybe that could be a t-shirt. It could still be a t-shirt. <laughs> we got a giggle from the audience. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Like, that is what the lady has, gone. Seth. It, the lady has Seth. It was good. I was like, who's Seth? Um, <laughs> all right, it's the final. Vikes 4-0, and Packers 2-2. Two and two. Um, What started off 28 nothing ends 31-29. You know what's crazy? That if, uh, got the scary. kicker. Doesn't son of a bitch! Oh my gosh! Doink it. Okay, so you guys, please. Here's your here's your opportunity to talk shit about your kicker because we've had plenty of years to do that, but we're liking our rookie right now. I'm not gonna talk shit. I'm just saying. Who is he? What's his deal? Just is he a rookie? Different game. Is he a rookie? I've never heard of this guy. So I don't know. I feel that the Packers were just reaching with him because they weren't happy with the other two guys they had, and they were just hoping for a miracle. Obviously, they didn't get it. They didn't think it could be much worse. But he's well. What four kicks in four games? Five Ooh. kicks. Four I wouldn't games? be surprised if they bring in competition this week. Well, they have to. They got to find a veteran who's a little more reliable, and then there's knows? veterans out there too. That and penalties. Go back for Dan the Man Bailey. He's still doing it. I don't know if his back problems are bad. penalties no, and drop Mason catches. Crosby's out there. Wait a minute. Dropped catches. You sure. remember what Dan Bailey looked like the last time he came off the couch? <laughs> that was that oh, was he, Viking Dan. Yeah, Bailey. Yeah, he was big dude. Yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> that was not. Not okay. a care in the world. Well, sure. So missed field goals, but let's go back to it was uh I want to say it was first quarter uh on a third down. It was a low pass on a cross or across the middle. Um who's 13 on the pack? Is that Wicks? Wicks or Heath, I can't. He, it's Heath. Um wait, okay, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say it. I'm not well, sure. Well, if it's between Twix or Heath, I'll always pick Twix. Nice. But that was a drop, which would have been a first down inside the three or something, or maybe a touchdown. So this could have went a number of ways a well, number I, of times. I mean, they just looked so bad. The first half, right? I mean, yeah. and that's why, you know, it's 28-0 at halftime. Uh-huh. It, they just looked so bad. Love looked uncomfortable. Defensively horrible. Vikes yeah. had whatever they wanted on offense. It looked so, so easy. But a tale of two teams comes to mind with mm-hmm. both of us because what happened in the second half? We got comfortable, LeFleur stopped doing our game plan. On national TV and yep. then yeah. got his team going. Exactly. And it starts with... Uh, and it starts with turnovers. What do we have? Five turnovers this game. Three picks for Jordan Love. Uh, pick for Sam Darnold. And the muffed punt. Uh, first of all, why did he try to feel that, Mr. Naylor? That gave him the momentum. They went right in for a touchdown. And then they come in with that. That was a sweet corner blitz. Got Sam from behind. And less than a minute later, they score again. And then it's a scary game. So maybe the sun was in his eyes. But why do you try to field that? He shouldn't field that. No, he'll, he'll admit that he shouldn't have done it, but I don't care. It's always going to go back to the kicker in a game like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Two missed field goals. Again, what's his story? Is this a rookie? Who is he? He, uh, he, they got him off at the whatever, 16 man team. Yep. Practice squad. That's it. Yep. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Wait, waivers. I was like, no, there's, there's well, 50 there's of so them. Many, <laughs> another team. Yeah, there's so many systems now waivers, practice squad. You can claim somebody from a practice squad if, if you're going to guarantee that they go to your active roster. Which they did. Yeah. He, mm. he was in a competition. It yep. was close, mm-hmm. but he lost it, and he was available. Um, thoughts on uh, Jordan Love, first game back from injury, three interceptions. Rusty in the first half. Rusty first half, a lot of balls at feet, a lot of feet balls. Yeah, yeah I mean, he was rusty, and, um, you know, you'll say it. You don't think he's good. I think he's mediocre. I think he's mediocre. Did you want I, my thoughts? I think he rushed back. I think they rushed him back. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see it. I he mean, had his, some stupid throws. He had some stupid too throws. On some oh, throws. We might have seen Malik back in there for a little bit. Yeah, no Did Malik. Have... No Malik. Packages. Yeah, I'm not sure if he looked 100% comfortable or it, maybe it was obvious he didn't feel 100% comfortable. But like I said, a lot of feet balls. If that's your thing, great, but that's not mine. And obviously it wasn't the Packers thing today. You're not into feet? 
Not into feet balls. Mm. Individually, sure. Right? And then well, he made a lot of dumb throws, too. He was forcing the ball. He was airmailing it. Um, if you don't pay attention to the balls of your feet, plantar fasciitis is in your future, I promise. Look at you go. <laughs> nice. Um, yes, Rusty uh, maybe rushed back, but uh, um, I don't know if the Vikes were maybe playing a little bit softer second half to um, Wait. make the Packers look a lot better. But Well, and Jairi wasn't out there. It's Jair. I don't care. Jair. It's Jair. Jair. Jair today. It's a gyro with lamb meat. <laughs> would have helped to have him. Um, Whatever it, you want to Would have very much helped to have him, for sure. Um, yeah, Vikes, uh, Vikes got a little break there. Addison, in his first game back. Sody, tell that story. You had, a, you had a little help fantasy-wise. On the way here, actually, I was driving um, and just had a feeling. I put, uh, picked up Jalen Naylor on the free agency wire in one league, put him in on a flex, and I have Addison, I know. And I asked. Uh, Shelly, as we were driving, I'm like, is he healthy? Is he rocking? Is he ready to go? Yep, he's go- good to go. So I was questioning taking out uh, a few different people. I still have a decision to make here soon. But, yeah, we put Addison in because she asked me, what's your gut feeling? And I just said, I feel like he's going to have a breakout game. Once he's back, they always use him. He's, yep. al- he's always open. He's fast. He's, he's like Percy. He's like Stefan. They're just These guys are always going to have a job in the NFL until they're banged up and slow. And right now he's fresh and fast. So run him. So we, we talked a little bit about this. Someone who is who has proven himself to be an NFL caliber wide receiver has had been ga- big games before. Wait. Injured Wait. early. <laughs> had been what? Has had big games before. I heard had been gaped. Yep. It's chicken. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> has had big don't games laugh. before. Anyway, you were calling this a breakout game for Aston, and I don't think that's a correct adjective. I think. Did we look out b- the term breakout? Yeah, there's no I'll solid. Ask Doc, what's a breakout game for you? Is if this you, a breakout if you have a game fantasy for Addison? wide receiver who's gotten you, let's say, eight points for the season in week four? He gets me 24. Well, because he's been injured. He it's a played. breakout game. I call it a breakout game. Are you mad that I said it's a breakout game on the way here? Is that a breakout game? Uh, on the verge of one, I would say. Uh, uh. Who asked you guys? <laughs> Who asked you guys? Um, okay, back to Jordan Love. 32 of 54, 389 yards, four touchdowns, three ugly picks. Ball out. Uh, that's that's gunslinging, right? That's, that's gunslinging if I've ever seen from it. Behind, is and playing is. from 28 I've seen nothing. worse stats yeah. with wins. Playing from 28 nothing. Honestly, very true. We all have. Meanwhile, our boy, Sam Darnold, 20, 28, 275, three touchdowns, interception. Is this dude in the MVP conversation right now? Yeah, he's number three, Vegas odds. Yep. Currently? Yeah. yeah. Is that after this game? Oh, woo. Well, that was going, that, that was this oh. morning. No, that was this morning well, and yeah. now. The Viking one. He has looked good. Hit the purple one. Yeah. yeah. It's good teams, too. Yeah. I, 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 That's I true. assume the Packers aren't That's as bad true. as they look. My the favorite half. part. Even as a fan of the Vikings this season has been, I want to see him against contenders. Mm-hmm. When the Texans came to town and we did that, it was, okay, okay, cool. We've seen flukes. Niners was some. Yeah. The fact that we both can agree Packers are a quality team. This was frightening. Going into Lambeau. Sure was. Riding this. I know. Told you guys both at 28 nothing. I'm still waiting I for a shoe to drop. Just, I'm just still waiting for a shoe to drop. Yeah. Okay. I did, I did, are you, Sody? I think as the season goes on, injuries are going to be huge. Yep. How long are guys going to actually, if we can keep a team together that plays 17 games together, that's untouchable, that's uncoachable, that's priceless, as they used to say when it comes to MasterCard. When it, at the end of the season, playoffs, <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, you know, literally, a brand new wide receiver. What was Justin's contract? 50 something million a year? 35. Yep, what we had to pay Dar- <laughs> Darnold this year, 10, right? What we what did we pay Aaron Jones, right? Nine, Johnny, eight, eight, I think. Johnny Munt and Jalen Naylor getting touchdowns? Priceless. Yeah. For it's everything else, there's MasterCard. Okay, very good point. Uh, no, that's a super good point. Um, we haven't had to shower Jefferson with I'm trying 15, to get plugs, dude. I'm with 15 to, times. <laughs> we got to make money advertising. <laughs> You're doing great. The t-shirts are doing well. <laughs> You're doing great. But we're this close. <laughs> Um, no, it, it's uh, when it was 28 nothing. no wide receiver had more than three or four targets. There was like six of them with a catch or two, three of them with a touchdown. It was it was um, so just spreading the ball around, spreading the ball around in a very good offensive system. I'm struggling. Hey, man, two bloodies and two Coors will slow you down a little bit. So bear I think with it's me. the burger, honestly. And then a burger. Thank you. Yeah. You understand. Well, okay. 
food food's gonna slow you down. Your body's prioritizing energy to metabolize, not to verbalize. I need you to justify it for me here, so thank you. Anyways, how about that nice. cat trade? <laughs> no, not yet. Don't do that to me. No, we we got uh, not quite yet. What, not ready. what do you, I'm what just else not do you ready. want to talk we about? We got all. We got all. Stats. Let's not talk about what, stats. No, look, no, and then we got we got next week because Mike's got a fun game next week. They're going across the pond. Um, Aaron Jones in his uh, Lambo homecoming. He didn't get to Lambo leap. Good game though. But he had a good game. Twenty two carries, ninety three yards, four catches, forty six yards. Dad, I would very much like to trade you for him in our fantasy league. I'm sure. <laughs> Well, good answer. Well, he's there. Uh, meanwhile, in my other league, Josh Jacobs, nine carries, 51 yards, and four catches, 27 yards. No touchdowns for the running backs. Anyway, Sodi, great call playing Jordan Addison. Three catches, 72, 72 yards, touchdown, one carry, seven yards, touchdown. Hit the purple one. Thank you. How did Jaden Reed end up? Jaden Reed for my dad. Holy crap. Oh, my God. You played him? Yeah. Good job, Dad. Seven hit, for 139 and a touchdown. Hit the sound bite of somebody eating a cheese curd. Do the... Well, you, you guys can do the GPG. Then, ba -da -ba -da -da. <laughs> That's not it. Go back, go. Yeah, something like that. There you go, Dad. <laughs> Just like that. Doc, you were all over that last week. Come on. Um, no, it's... Uh, okay, I can't remember. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Wicks had a good game. 578 and two. Tucker Craft, six for 53 and one. Where's Luke Musgrave, Dad? You're like, wow, that could be a great pick for you for the last <laughs> pick of the draft. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How close were you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not. <laughs> Three catches, 13 yards in this one. Tucker, uh, six for 53 and one. Yeah. He's, He's out good. on waivers. They both are, and they both probably should be. But Yeah, they, are, they don't feature the tight end much in their offense. Well, when they're, they're more blockers, but if they're throwing fifty-four times a game, then one of them's going to yeah, do all right, I guess. Not yeah, be I don't think they'll be twenty-eight zero. Um, thoughts on potential Christian Watson injury? What's that do? It hasn't done much this year, but uh, it's it's terrible, it's, especially if it's his hamstring again. Then I don't. I know, know. his potential's through the roof, but I've maintained he is their third or fourth best wide receiver. Yeah, and I've told to you they're point, all number definitely. ones. I'd say his availability <laughs> play, <laughs> plays an effect on the wide receiver depth chart. <laughs> they're all yep. number ones. They're all number ones. <laughs> yep, exactly. Oh, man. Okay. Well, what else do you guys want to touch on? Our Vikes are 4-0, and, and, I, and I can't believe it. We're looking at uh, – we're going across the pond to face the Jets early morning Sunday next week. And I guess that's a home game for – is that a home game for us? No, it's a home game for London. Well, right, but it counts as a... I've never understood that. That counts as a home game for someone. Yep, for us. Well, yeah, you get to wear your purple jerseys. That's hey, stupid. At least they're not going to get shot at for wearing green like you guys almost did in Brazil. There's going to be four Vikes fans there. Hey, did you guys see that Falcons game where they attempted to honor some guy into the Ring of Honor and uh, they forgot to fill in the last name in the placard? <laughs> they just looked that up. The Falcons Ring of Honor... Okay. And they unveiled it, and they just the banner just said Arthur Blank. Oh, oh good. Oh. I, so I knew good. something was coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys saw it? That's well, a good one. <laughs> That's a like who good got one. fired for that? that <laughs> is a, Come that on, is, man. That is a pretty good one, Sody. Thanks. Um, this uh, I'll tell you right now. This helped a lot for the Vikes. We had Addison, um, Turner, and Darisaw all back. Um, we were only missing Ivan Pace. And look at that backup linebacker. Two interceptions in two weeks. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, what time is it? Super happy for you. Yeah, you guys are gonna go seventeen and zero. Oh, it's gonna oh, be shoot. great. So, well, you uh, you were close when you said forty two rip. So what are we doing in London next week? You're playing the Jets. That's right. Ratchet. Rogers. I think you guys will uh, 28-14. You guys win. Nice. Thanks, Doc. That's great. You guys aren't going to lose a game this season. I know. That's what it's starting to feel like. Yeah. Um, I am disappointed that Jair was injured, though, because uh, Jefferson did have that quote saying, I feel like he cares a lot more than I do. And I did kind of want to see that put to rest after most of the games against the Packers are not in Jefferson's favor. I don't, versus, really, I don't like him. Versus Alexander. You don't like who? Alexander. No, he's he's um he's acted that. he's acted very stupid yeah, for that I said team. That he's last done year. he's done a lot of stupid I, things and has said some stupid things. Seems a little goofy. Dad, yeah. thoughts on your number one corner? I I wish he'd back it up on the field more than he does. Yeah. I, I, he mm -hmm. talks way too much. Too he much sure bluster. Uh-huh. He sure does. Oh man. Um 
Okay, off of the high of four and oh, yes, it's amazing. Um, a moment for Tommy Kramer announces he has dementia. Uh, legendary Vikings, prayers out to him. Right, Sody? Well, just figure something listening. out pretty cool on ESPN Fantasy app. If you have the same players <laughs> okay. on both teams, no, dead serious. Yep. So I have Terry McLaurin and uh, Jamison Williams on both teams. I have both of them on both teams. Great. I just swapped one for the other on China Fitness. And by the time I got to young, the Young Guns League, it was already done for me. That's Wait, nuts. So it... Yeah. You did it for... So I went to uh, the Young Guns and swapped out James... Wait, Here's no. a pro tip for all you fantasy footballers yeah. through the ESPN Jameson app. Williams for Zay Flowers. And then on the London Lambones... Wait, now it's different. Is he just mistaken? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's so nothing you said is true? No, no. nothing. Okay. No. All night. So we'll just forget it. <laughs> yeah, 100%. We'll I didn't even put those that. albums up there. We'll never get that time back. Right. Yeah, oh. That's all right. And everyone in this room. Is, sound bite. Is sound more bite. Than... <laughs> please, please make that a sound bite. And never get that time back. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. Is that one going again, so? Daddy's still. No, I'm not touching anything. I haven't moved. I that swear to God. All right, well, good. You just, is, what about that chord? I don't think that's recording. No, it's oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Grenard, Defensive Player of the Week last week. The new uh, JG. Three sacks. And um, I'm not sure what he did this week, but uh, I saw a lot of time for Jordan Love. And maybe that was the idea to make him force passes into triple coverage because he did that a couple I times. I know he got to him at least once, probably more than that. Right. Ooh, this was an awesome pro football focus Sam Darnold stat before this game. Sam Darnold in the red zone this season. He did throw a red zone interception, I believe, today. Um, 88.2 passer grade first, 14 completions first, six touchdowns first, and zero turnover-worthy plays. Uh, that's awesome, and that's been a reason for success. Um, but I do think he threw a red zone interception today, right, on the sideline? Did that happen? Look at you guys. I'm sorry. Are you just uh, worried about fantasy? No, yeah, I, me I, too. I, I, pulled, I pulled Lad <laughs> McConkley for Jalen Naylor. In the one league, Jalen got me one catch for 31. Uh, Lad McConkley, with McConkley. five minutes left in the first, has three catches for 30 yards and a tutty. That's no good. Oh, nice. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Hard to read the future. What's that say? It fired back up, though. I am uh, I'm just looking at my lovely daily fantasy yeah, here. Yeah, let's, let's touch on fantasy. How are we doing here? Doc, we'll start with you. How are you looking? How are the, uh, how are the, how, that's what she said. Oh, glorious. So you are the lone undefeated team in our league as a newcomer. So fuck you. Barely beat me last week with a last second touchdown that by was, Zach Moss. That, that was, was stupid. Wearing out your welcome. That was stupid. <laughs> that, that was amazing. Yeah, that was good. No, I that yelled. Was, no, yeah, our, our odds were just boomeranging. Yeah. On the I got home and put that game. Well, I listened to the game on the drive home after leaving here. Mm -hmm. And then um, had that game on. I'm surprised I didn't wake up my kid by screaming. Like I just, she sounds sleeper. Yeah, I was just yelling. He raised I was just like, sleeper. that's what he gets for being an asshole last week. Whoa, can we say that? Yes, we can. <laughs> that's your one. <laughs> we can say ass. Yeah, I was just like, this is perfect. Oh, this is stupid. Because man, on the drive home, I was like, not only was this a terrible show, I was like, I'm gonna lose in fantasy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lost in our dynasty league, which that team should never lose. Yeah, your team there should never lose, honestly. It was Jeez, just, uh, Dad, you're rolling up again. Yeah, you're going to be points leader. He is, isn't he points leader? Yeah, but I'm saying Send like it he... this way, man. Yeah. Um, Dad, you are projected another 160. Like, that's crazy. Um, currently leading Sodi. He's beating your dad. So Mark is beating Mark. 110 to 54. That's just a projection. Well, you're projected... No, 110 to 54 40, is real. 40 more than him. Projected 40 more. So. 33. So he yeah, beeped again. This is just beeping at you. I don't know what's going on there. We'll figure it out. Um, Doc, you're winning. Are you winning again? Are you going? Uh, yeah, it's uh, 131 to 53, and I have more points than he's Bellman. projected to get. Bellman, so. you're projected 112. What are you doing? What's that box score? Oh, that's because that's because he has Richardson, and Richardson got hurt. Oh, he got hurt. Slash, he hasn't looked good all year. J.K. Dobbins, 2.6. Kyle Pitts put up a donut. Oh no. Sorry, Feldman. That's nothing new. Sorry, Feldman. We love you. <laughs> um, Sody, how's your team? How are you looking? You put in Addison. Are you winning? 
Are you getting out of the pits? Because you are winless, my friend. Well, in the league that I'm winless, I'm looking good. But the, in the league that I want to continue winning, I'm not looking good. So Okay. Well, can't have it all. The other crazy thing, though, we talked about every team having an Andy Dalton, right? Did we? How no. It seems like every NFL team has an Andy Dalton. Don't remember that. As soon as their starting quarterback goes out, who, who's, who's stepping in every time? Andy Dalton. I feel like Andy still plays for the Panthers, the Cowboys, okay. yeah. possibly the Chiefs. Okay. I feel like if Mahomes twists an ankle, Dalton's going to step in. I feel like if Hurts gets hurt, Eagles, Dalton's go- it's going to be him. And probably Denver. He's probably got a contract with Denver. Why do you feel all this? Andy Dalton's always, anytime a quarterback goes rocket. down. The Red Rocket, yeah. Andy Dalton steps in. Oh, man, that's Joe Flacco. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's other more. Name them. Who have been to more teams. Boom, conversation started. Tannehill. Right. <laughs> Who? Name Ryan them. Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. Um, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick. All he really teams. did play for every team. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. Yeah, but I feel like we knew which ones he was on. Because some teams he started that season. That's true. Where Dalton's always a backup, and he's always like, damn it. Well, who else has Dalton been on? Uh, Saints? Well, he started his career in Cincy and he was, and was the Cin- starter. I know, and he he was the Dalton line. I remember that. Yeah, his hair in that jersey did not work. Then he was with New Orleans, I feel like. And now just, I feel like it's been that three teams. That chewed him up. Sody, I feel like it's been three teams. Okay. How would you feel if that if I'm right? I don't think you are, but I'd love for you to prove me wrong. Four. I forgot the Cowboys. He's played for, last year. Yeah. Yep. He has played for four teams. So do you still think Did you Google that? Yeah. Four teams? You still maintain <laughs> you still maintain your point? Hundred percent. That's why I wrote it down. Okay. You know what else I wrote down where the term cocktail comes from? Can't wait. Um, so horses back in the day, if they were mixed breeds, like if you had a Morgan and an Appaloosa, you had to dock their tails so they had short tails. Okay. And so a cocktail was a mixed breed. So a mixed drink became a cocktail. So what was Morgan doing with this horse? <laughs> <laughs> the hell happened? No elaboration. Did nobody this, follow? This isn't unabashed. You don't have to put... What are you putting next? Is for? You're on the wrong show right now. He keeps now. looking at me. <laughs> I'm trying to say things. <laughs> he's like, he's like, okay, for close the, the notebook for the third for the third time. I'm looked at. Horse breeders used to cut and turn a horse's tail if it was not a purebred, if it was a mixed breed horse. Okay, and so a cocktail it was called, cocked like c o c k e d. Okay, but when you had a mixed drink, they used to call it a cocked tail, and then it shortened to a cocktail. But a cocktail now is a mixed drink, just like a cocktail used to be a mixed breed horse. All right, I'm fact so, checking you. I'm fact if, checking. Uh, if there's anyone Wait, out there that ever don't ever wants to hear more of this, <laughs> all you got to do is go to patreoncom slash the second office and listen to Sody's episode. Wait, you guys still air those things where you let me talk about my stuff <laughs> all the time, all the time. Okay, do uh, people listen? We're fact checking them. So here we go. <laughs> Coquitel really close was a term for. <laughs> Coquitel, Coquitel, C O Q U E T E L, was a term for a mixed drink in Bordeaux. Wait, how's which that rapi- pronounced? Which, it's rap- cocktail. which rapidly became cocktail in America. A coquetier, 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 You're a in, coquetier. is French for an egg cup, the vessel in which Antoine Amade Peychaud. Oh, seriously, Antoine? Peychaud of Bitters fame prepared his mixes. Anglo-American pronunciation rapidly turned into cocktail. Is that where the cocktail term of bitters comes from? It came from C-O-Q-U-E-T-E-L. That's where cocktail comes from. That's cocktail, sorry. So Co- don't so not. So don't listen to Sodi. Yeah. That's why I crossed it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Do you know what a babarusa is? No. Oh my God. no? no okay, so a babarusa is a pig <laughs> that commits a slow suicide that grows tusks out of their face growing upwards that curl. They don't stop until they grow into the pig's brain and kills it. Fact search that, I dare you. I know. Well, so why do you write no, that down? It, there are cows. It's dark. There, well, there, I don't know. Y'all are happy all the time. We no, I, about, feel, I feel like you're right because there's cows whose the horns come around and start going into their sides and they have to have them. No, these ones grow into their brains. Well, I'm, I'm saying I agree. I, 
You that doesn't surprise me? me. I believe you. You're Same not going to fact check. I'm not going to fact check that. A one. pig that kills itself with its own horns. I wouldn't fact check. But that. where the term cocktail comes from, you're like bullshit. Yeah. I love you. I've known you for too damn long. <laughs> it's Gross. very That's a horrible uh, way to die. I think. Yeah. 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 It sure is. Okay. Great. Uh, Vikes four zero. Oh. Now we may talk. I am probably ready. How's your fantasy team, Doc? It's good. Is it good? Dad, you're you're just balling out. I am projected to win. I am up by 11 right now, projected to win by 20-something. Bake Bay, 29 points. So we're all looking pretty good at this Look at minute. us go, you guys. Wait, speaking of that, Doc, did I ever talk about this one? It's not a pickup line. Doc, what is it? It's a relationship line. It's when you're already in a relationship. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> so instead of a pickup line, this is called the relationship line. And it's, did it hurt? And then she goes, what? And then you say, when I told you to Google it, and I was right. <laughs> okay. okay. Grassing that one out. Okay, good job. Did I tell you that mosquitoes... No. Pref- Save we- it. Save it. <laughs> he probably has plenty. <laughs> I'm sure he has plenty. We talked about Rick Ross's pool, right? Yeah, <laughs> we did. All right, 350,000 gallons. I know. Can you believe Diddy's lawyer was like, oh, he, he has that many bottles of baby oil because Costco's right down the street. Did he say that? Yeah. <laughs> Costco. <laughs> Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> works Co- Cost- buy a bulk. <laughs> yeah, for all these parties. <laughs> no, but, but Costco came out and was like, we've never carried baby oil. <laughs> Well, yeah, you know, that's easily checked. Yeah, they're, they're like, out there they're like we're very not. easily checked. You know why Diddy's back in the news, right? You know what I always talk about? Something's happening here. Yeah. So. Do you know what? Yeah. 23 and Me, the you, DNA database has oh, changed hands again. That's not what I saw. It did. It got sold again. You know how BlackRock Investments bought the DNA database that is 23 and Me? Uh huh. Everybody that spat in a tube that has DNA. Now, BlackRock Investments can literally custom tailor advertisements and products towards what your bodily is chemically predispositioned to want because they have your DNA. And now all that DNA, now that it's been studied, transferred, and put into a database, has been sold again for multi-billions of dollars. It's the most... Who bought it? Weapons... I don't know. But weapons of mass destruction is no longer hot, man. You, they got DNA tubes. Well, and everyone's buying them. What were you going to say? This what so what I saw is the James Hubble telescope has detected a perfect rectangle very large object speeding towards earth. And like the lines are so perfect that it's it's not a meteor. What is that what do they say in inception when they see that black hole and they say just beyond it there's a universe that we can go to? mm mm-hmm. Mhm. They say, why can we see it now? It's like somebody put that door there just for us to be able to get out of here. Yeah. So why like, is Elon building rockets? Why is the door open now? Yeah. So Congress has apparently a, been boom. briefed on it. Not then, in our lifetime. Really? Yeah. Rectangle. Wait. No. Flying that, towards Earth. I agree with your debt. Not. What did you say? I said not in our lifetime. Right. But It'll happen, but I believe it's possible. At, we're at just point, we're but. so far from it. I heard a line that I loved that said, I was born too young to explore the world, but too or too old to explore the world, but too young to explore the universe. And I was like, damn it. I'm just, I'm landlocked. Doc, I got nothing. Yeah, of course you got nothing. They don't want that out there. Yeah, you you, you can't just Google it. Where'd you hear this? Area51.com. Where'd you get your info? They've FBI.com. Already, they've already sponged dark, it. Dark web Google? Sorry, FBI.gov. I can't share that. You're in the know, aren't you? No. I, I know nothing. Not at I'm making all. stuff up. Okay, good. It was a good story. Please don't believe me. Okay. Okay. Good. Wait. Good joke. What do they say? For entertainment very purposes good joke. only. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Very good joke. <laughs> oh, dude, we're good. <laughs> Would you guys like to uh, talk about the cat trade? Wait. Yeah. I want to talk about a dream I had, real quick. <laughs> Dad, Dad, you can go. Give Wait, me before th- you leave, Mark, okay. I, had a, I had a dream. A dream and then cat <laughs> I walked out on a beach, and the whole ocean was orange soda. Turned out it was just a fantasy. Oh, my God. Love right. you. Good to see you. <laughs> thought, thought, thoughts, on, thoughts on cat trade. What do you uh, think? Oh, I, This is a Bucks fan, by the way. I'd just like to think that management knows way more than I do about what's best for the team, and I, and I hope I'm right. Oh. I, I Word. Know. Thanks, Dad. You bet. Thank you, guys. School Vikes. Yeah. Love you. Thanks for yeah. coming over. Good game, guys. Yeah, good pleasure. Good stuff. Very good stuff. We'll see you in December. Watch the uh, watch the two animals out when you're walking out the door. I'll be very careful. They're following you. Ooh, you better say goodbye to that one. 
Look at her go. That's a good job. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I've, I've gone through every loop of this dang roller coaster um, since the news broke two nights ago when I was a little bit drunk and just playing video games and having a great night. Yeah, and, you, told, and, you told me you cried about it all night. I didn't shed tears. I was sad. I read that message and I was like, oh my gosh. I looked at my wife and was like, I'm going to have to drive over there and make sure he's not going to hang himself. I could have used a hug at that time. Are you kidding me? I was just playing games, having a great night, about to go to bed, and then the group chat starts popping off. I don't think he knows how to do one of those knots. Couldn't sleep. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I don't think I know how. He's huh? safe. He's safe. One of those knots? Never mind. Just keep going. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've I've roller coastered on this, um, and I'm still sad and frustrated for sure. Why? Well, multiple reasons. Let me. I'm curious of your thoughts, Sony. <laughs> I promise you, you're not. Let's go. I don't know what you think of cat, and that's I don't know, kind of what I'm kind of trying to talk myself cat. into as well. When he's hot and he's playing and he wants to be a part of the Timberwolves, How's he going. He's great. What are you doing? But I'm trying to figure this. Oh, you're hot. But Not bothered. I think there's a lot of times that he doesn't want to be a part of this team. Nope. And I learned who Julius Randle was the night I found out we traded for him. So, <laughs> Okay. I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys. <laughs> I hope he's talented because I was like, fuck, who's this guy? <laughs> he sounds terrible. No, nah, he's all right. Yeah. No, I, like good. I said, the more I learned, the more I was like, okay. Not so bad. It's funny. It's one polarizing player for another very polarizing player. Both of them have had very good. Um, you know, they have accolades. They're both all pros. Uh, I, I think Cats had two third teams. Julius has had a second and third team all pro. Yeah, what I, I think I texted you that it was a terrible trade, and then the more I thought about it, um, I think I actually like it for the Timberwolves. So, yeah, I, man, I, I am absolutely a sentimental. Dude, through and through. Sody, what's going on? You guys talk wolves. I'm going to check this camera. Okay. The sentiment is not missed on me because this is a guy who's been here for nine years and in a place that, especially, I don't know, the NBA is so much different fan-wise and community-wise from, say, the NBA or anything else because it, it's so... It, it, it's so... um it's like LA, Miami, New York, and then there's and then there's the flyover teams, and the poverty franchises. Which, which sure, as much as I hate that term, the Wolves could absolutely be classified as that for the history they've had. Well, especially with Glenn Taylor running it. Especially with goddamn Glenn Taylor. Thank you. I know there wasn't any job I had. So with the we Wolves. we have had this guy who who I think it, from everything that we've seen that's been released to the public eye could very well be the nicest player in the NBA, and I like to be able to say the Wolves have that. That's very cool. He has also said nothing but amazing things about the team, the franchise, through all the change he's been through, all the coaches, all the owners, not owners, but GMs. He's been through so much change. He's never said anything but positive things about the team and the city and has said he would like to play out his career here. And I would have loved to see that happen. So that's why that's why it's, it's very sad, even though I do see a world where the Viking, <laughs> the Timberwolves could actually be a better team. They, they could potentially be better. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, um, we made that post, right? I, I for, I'm i going to yeah. botch it. I don't know the guy that Kendrick made per the, Kendrick Perkins, he's he's talking head. He's, yeah. he's so, for, he's for the know, clicks. He said that the, uh, you know, top five people that needed to prove themselves, and Cat was five and mm -hmm. Randall was four, and mm -hmm. I think it's hilarious that they switched teams. And mm -hmm. um, For me, the Timberwolves win because of the, we get away from the second, second apron, we're not out from under that, though. It gives us a chance. It gives us a better chance to get out from under it and sooner. Did you see well, us? Yes, the Timberwolves. Yeah. He's a Timberwolves and, fan. And so... Oh, it's, it's nice to hear again. I know. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the same team as you guys for this one. Exactly. I love it. But, uh, no, so I think it gives them flexibility there. I just think that people are going to blow up like, oh, we also get a first-round pick. But, you, but we really don't. Because it's top 13 protected this year, and the Pistons will be in the top 13. Mm -hmm. And then next year, I think it's top 25 protected. No, it's like top 10 or something. It, it's, uh, it, no, it, I think it, it, it goes no, down every year. I don't think so. Yeah, it goes like 10, then 9. Either, either way, there's a chance it's a second-round pick yeah. in 2028. Right. There's a solid chance it's a second-round pick in 2028, yeah. which I don't like. Right. 
So it's just like hopefully okay. Cade Cunningham is amazing. I'm going to be rooting like hell for him now. But even then, so then it's what it's in the 20s, and at that point in the NBA draft, you're just taking flyers. So, oh yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you take guys who you yeah who you think have the measurables and the athleticism. So and I don't know. Whatever else. I mean, we'll see what happens. So, as I obviously I it, I'm, it is also not missed on me that. I'm probably trying to find the silver lining here. I, I am a Timberwolves fan more so than I am a Carl Anthony Towns fan. So I've had to remind myself of that. If this is to help us be able to pay more people in the future and maintain more depth, then that's a good thing, right? Especially if one of those people is Nas Reed. Yeah. Nas Reed signed a team-friendly contract um, very recently, and now he's the sixth man of the year. He already has earned and will probably eventually be asking for more money. Well, yeah, and I, you know, we should be able to keep him long term now. And um, for anyone out there, you get your Nas Reed shirts at the secondoffice.org. Oh, um, it's a hot seller. You can seller. go to our shop, too. You can just go to our website, too. You can go right to the shop from there, too. Whatever's easier. Yep. It's a hot seller. So make sure you get yours to support Nas this upcoming season. We're selling out. We're working he, on temporary Nas Reed neck tats. Because he, uh, if you go to a game, you can throw one on. Those are selling out too. We only have so many necks available. <laughs> but uh, I don't even know what that's. I put that on my bread. <laughs> this will allow us to to keep no. to keep Nas long term, and he'll so, get more minutes, and he'll with, get more minutes, yeah. which I think is great. So in the games that Cap missed, I think we were fourteen and six. Nas played amazing, and he played yep. amazing in the playoffs too. This dude is absolutely capable. Um, he can't play the center like Carl can because he's six nine and can get bullied down there. But he, I don't know, he he guarded Jokic terrifically. But so I he is a four. Well, and I think that's the point, though. I think Cat was playing out of position because he was on the court a lot as a four. Yeah. with Rudy, the offense was clunky a lot, and and I think it still could be. I, I, like Randall obviously doesn't help spacing issues, but DiVincenzo sure does. Oh yeah, no, I love that. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, um, his contract um, should be talked about more too. That is an incredible asset to have on a championship contending team is a contract like his. You must work out. You got to. I would assume so. Um, th- yeah. I think the difference between Nas and Cat, if this is if this is a metric I'm using to console myself, which it kind of is, the difference from Nas to Cat is not as big as their contracts would, would imply, right? Cat missed a few games. Nas filled in almost seamlessly. Um, obviously, the depth... Hurts and Cat is an amazing all pro player. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Clip. Yeah, but <laughs> I, uh, I, I, something had to be done. They but were going to make a move. He theoretically does I, everything Cat can do, right? Like uh, in, in the post and shoot. Maybe not, maybe not sure, quite as well. But, and then, but maybe he defends equal to Cat. Cat got better at that this year. Um, there, not much drop off is my point. Nas is also much closer to the um, window or the age of Ant and Jaden. So we look at this as going forward with Ant, Jaden, Nas. I love that too. Yeah, because I mean, what? How many more seasons does Rudy really have? I don't. I don't know what his contract is. He'll be thirty three by the end of next year, I think. Thirty two, thirty three, and, then- and um, yeah, he'll he'll probably still. Like I maybe it won't be the super max like it is I think but it'll he'll he'll probably still oh, he'll get, get another he'll get another contract yeah. right and maybe that won't be with that, us but I don't yeah because Randall can opt out after this year exactly which is which just another area of flexibility for us which I think is great so so that's super nice um, I don't know we we talked about it throughout the playoffs and I think overall Cat had a very good playoffs but. The ceiling for Cat and the Cat who we saw on occasion, kind of rarely the Cat that we got consistently. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, played, we would get him a little. Floor. We would get him a little too infrequently, right? Yeah, he played on his floor most of the time. What I love about Randall, um, he has he, he can guard. Um, he can guard multi positions better than Cat can. Though Cat did, I don't know, Cat guarded KD pretty damn well too, though, in the Phoenix series, the times he had to. Like, Cat was not bad there in isolation. Um, but Randall can guard the perimeter, probably a little bit better than Cat can. He is a dog. He can rebound like a mofo. 
and sure, everyone's pointing to his three point percentage, which is was which was bad this year. He's not the best three point shooter. However, his corner three point percentage was great, and inside of ten feet or something, which is where he takes fifty nine percent of his shots, he shoots damn near sixty percent. He's incredibly efficient around the basket. Whether or not Rudy clogs that up for him, I'm not sure. So wait, fifty percent of the time it works. He's good sixty percent of the time. Every time, yes. every time, exactly. Pretty much nailed it. Mm-hmm. And then we got one of the best shooters in the league. Shoots 40% over the last two years on damn near nine attempts a game. Yeah, I don't remember the exact stat, but it was something about, you know, these sh- X amount of shooter. Only three shooters in the playoffs, like, shot 40% from three. And mm-hmm. now we have two. Last yeah. one just hit mm-hmm. his ear. Exactly. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this also helps lessen the blow of losing Kyle Anderson, honestly. I, again, I, I still don't know. May, maybe we're a little worse team on, on paper now. Maybe we're a little bit better. I think talent-wise, it's a lateral move, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I think we just... I think, ultimately, I, I think it... Time will tell if anyone won this trade. I it, yeah. We just swapped problem players, essentially. Both fan bases are upset because all players involved were fan favorites. Yeah. So it's kind of funny to see. So, I mean, we'll just see what happens. I think... I think ultimately we probably get better because of the pieces we get. Depth, we might, right? We might not have got the best player. Depth and flexibility is becoming increasingly important in the NBA, which I think a lot of franchises are still assuming you need your big three or whatever to win the championship. And you can't do I that. I don't think that's the case anymore. Well, you, and now it's going to be depth and um, cohesiveness. Well, and you can't under the new CBA. I mean... That too. You can't pay three people Supermax contracts anymore. It's just you, you're done. I had seen this brought up, and I hadn't thought about this angle. This second apron thing is kind of brought on to stop super teams from just hammering free agency every year, right? Yeah. Lakers, Miami, all the players want to go to L.A. and Miami, right? Yeah, it's technically so this kind of stops balancing. them. What it also does is kind of stops teams. There needs to be an incentive for teams who have a homegrown player, and just because he has an amazing season or something like cat had a great year in a contract year to earn a super max i don't think he's necessarily worth a super max but he got all nba he got all star he earned that contract by nba standards right he earned that contract would he have signed that contract or would he have signed for 15 20 mil less if it meant the timberwolves would have been able to sign him long term for more or keep him so the franchise is penalized for him having an amazing year and earning a contract Yeah, because, I mean, that contract took place before the new CBA, right? And we traded for Rudy before the new CBA. Right, so we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to see because, what, wasn't it Jalen Brunson that took the sweetheart deal for the Knicks? Yes, I know, right? So it'll be interesting to see if more people in the NBA do that. And that's what I'm wondering. I was like, do we not go to Cat and be like, hey, you're such a good guy. You're always saying how much you love it in Minnesota. You want to take a discount? We'll try to keep the core together? Well, I don't know if you can if you can rework a contract like that. Maybe you can. I don't know what the NBA's rules are on that. Yeah, Um, maybe. I don't know. If... One season in as an NBA fan. So. Well, I don't know that either. But if the team Welcome. and the player whose contract it is are just like, yeah, we're both okay doing this. They just wipe their butt with the old contract and say, here, cat, a little less mill, but we're keeping you now. And, and, we're, and we're contenders again. And I still think we're contenders. People, I've seen a lot of things saying we're obviously not contenders this year, and I don't see how that's the case. No, I don't, I don't think that that trade does that to them. No, I agree. Thank you. I think there. I think a lot of people are arguing that it will be harder to beat Denver now because we gave up yeah. size. Yep, Cat was a great Jokic matchup for whatever reason, um, and we did give up a little size. But like I said, I think our perimeter defense has improved. Um, Divincenzo was a great defender, and uh, Randall inconsistent, but can defend, especially one on one, and he's strong. He's yeah. a bully baller, which I like. That works in the playoffs. He yeah. hasn't been great in the playoffs, but so we will see aggressiveness. Ow. Sody. Yeah. Do you miss Cat? <laughs> no. All right. He's more of a dog guy. Yep, for sure. All right. I think you can sum up how I feel about when Doc texted us about the trade at 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, it was you, not that early. What did you say? Well, I was up at like 6 when I saw it, I think. Doc was, no, su- Doc was surprised we had. Doc was surprised we hadn't brought it up. Where'd it go? I waited a while. Oh, yeah, sorry. Here it is. Doc was surprised I hadn't brought it up. And you responded. I was like, man, this guy's up early. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm surprised neither of you have said anything about the cat trade. 
<laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Somebody said, we hate him. We don't care. <laughs> Could not disagree more, Cap. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Seriously, I, I'm, I'm still so iffy on this trade. Um, I, I get how it can work for the future. I am erring on the side of trusting probably the best uh, president of basketball operations in the league. Wait, can you pause that for a second? No. You can say something, though. You got some? I, I want to play something. We can. You can. Second. How about this? I'll just play it over this. Yeah. Four and zero, baby. Fight, 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 fight. I'm very glad you did that. Thank you. All right, thanks everyone for listening. Um, secondoffice.com. From there, you can get to our shop, buy all of our sweet ass merch. Um, Secondoffice.com/slash Patreon. Secondoffice.shop.org. That's not a thing. But Sody, <laughs> what's uh? Give us a little tease. Give us uh, an unabashed tease. What do you got? What's another tab there? A little sneak peek. There you go. Content. Oh, I thought you were just unbuttoning your... You said tease. Hey, I yeah. mean, if we could sell photos for $5 a pop, let's do it. Then we should. Um, I actually had one in here. I was just going to say, too. That stinks. Dang it. Where'd it go? Hold, please. Uh. 4-0, 4-0. First place in the north. Oh, huh. well, depending on how much time you have, I know you guys are busy. No, just tease. You just got tease. We could talk about the disappearance of Brandon Swanson. Disappearance of Brandon Swanson. Coming up on uh, our premium episode. Check it out. Uh, secondoffice.com slash Patreon. Patreon.com slash secondoffice is probably what it is. Yeah. It's all right, though. Okay. <laughs>